Hey guys, thank you for tuning in. It's another beautiful day. It's swelteringly hot out there, so what better day than to watch a movie? This is a film that's been recommended to me by my friend Ali. He said he thinks I'm going to quite like it. Um, it's called First Reformed. I know nothing about it. I've seen it's on Netflix, so I'm just going to click on there and watch that now. Um, I know it stars Ethan Hawke as a priest. That is directed by Paul Schrader, who's perhaps most well known for his writing credits, um, particularly for writing the scripts of the classic Martin Scorsese films Taxi Driver, Raging Bull, um, uh, Bringing Out the Dead, and Last Temptation of Christ, I believe. Um, and he's also had, he's got a huge um, directing list as well of films that I've not actually heard of before. So if this is any good, then I might have to go and check those out as well. Um, I'm sure it's pretty good. It's got a pretty high rating on IMDb. It's a drama, according to the Netflix synopsis. It's in the throes of a spiritual crisis. A pastor counsels a pregnant parish's desperate husband and finds the ground falling out from beneath him. Like I said before, if you guys want to watch the film, if you haven't seen it before, before you watch the rest of this video, that's a pretty cool way of doing it. Yeah, let's get started. Against the powers of this dark world. Music is absolutely amazing. <laughs> or soundscape, should I say? Wow. Ooh, okay. Oh, that, <laughs> so soundscape gives me the shivers. Wow. Um, okay. So that was really unexpected. I guess the best way to describe it is it's kind of a med. Let me say that again. Meditative, philosophical film. 
with some unexpected moments. It's going to make you think for a while. Like it's def there's definitely a lot of content in there that's focusing on big topics of the world, like real issues going on in the world. Um, there's a whole climate change sort of plot going on in there, which is really well done and well written. Yeah, like I'm <laughs> almost speechless for this one. <laughs> Um, I really, really liked it. I thought that was a pretty, pretty good film, actually. That was really good. Um, Ethan Hawke is absolutely incredible in the lead role. He's just fa just a, a fascinating performance. That was great. Also, a bit of a shout-out to Cedric the Entertainer as well in the film. He's always great in anything he's in, and it's no exception here. I think he played... Um, he played the head pastor and you can tell the film's created by someone who has made a name for himself in writing predominantly like the script is pretty pitch perfect in this and I think like, the dialogue and just the way the characters interact and it, it feels incredibly natural and for the first half hour or so. It's a bit of a slow burning film as well, like it takes its time. I'd say the first sort of big event of the film sort of happens about 40 minutes in, which does take you by surprise without getting, giving anything away. And the last half of the film is just, there is quite a few instances that are just, I, like my breath was taken at certain points. There was just some reveals and some main characters' motives that were just, astoundingly brought to the screen there that was great it's essentially an existential crisis film <laughs> really looking at it and i think it's 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 beautifully written and directed paul schrader's really done a quite a bit of work on this one the acting is great there's this particular sequence um in the last half of the film with amanda seyfried and ethan Hawke, both at his home and they're just they're doing this ritual i guess that's a beautiful sequence and really is just an awesome bit of film right there. A few sequences here of Ethan Hawke web browsing. That does contain some material that may very well upset some viewers. Like when I was watching it, there does seem to be some real footage. There is a particular video footage that Hawke looks at that is really um, quite distressing. And it's all brought by, it's all sort of accompanied by this incredible score in the background and I haven't seen the guy, whoever does it so I'm just going to look that up quickly now because um, I do want to see who the soundtrack is by. Ryan Williams aka Lust Maud. There you go, is the composer and I loved it, it was genuinely creepy, um, the music in it, which added this real element uh, there were just this creepy element that I was not expecting at all in this. The endings definitely left me thinking as well, like I'm not too sure how I feel about particularly the final shot of the film, random at first, but I think the more I think about it and possibly with a second watch, I feel like I'm going to appreciate the ending a bit more. The whole sequence of the ending, uh, like regardless of the final shot, was just nail bitingly tense as well um yeah thanks thank you so much ali for recommending this to me man i mean this was a a bit of an eye-opener and i think it's like i say it's ultimately a film that is about its character completely going through an existential crisis and it is about religion and with the, with the main character sort of the church's outlook on certain horrendous events that are and have been going on in the world. Like I say, it is a slow burn, so it does take a little bit of time to get into it, but even in the first half hour, there was this 10 minute sequence between Hawke's character and another very important character. Um, that was great, just written beautifully and was the complete uh, great example of a scene, just setting up what to expect from the rest of the film and I loved it. Amanda Seyfried was great as well. I would highly recommend this one, uh, particularly if you're after something that's very thoughtful and philosophical. Very dark as well. <laughs> um, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been another instant review. Really enjoyed uh, this one and this was a real, very different from June, which I reviewed last time, but absolutely worth a watch all the same. Have a lovely day 
and I'll see you again soon.